But you mentioned that you've um, involved in quite quite a lot of um, uh, organizations still today. What do you? I mean? seem to get involved in a lot of organizations. <laughs> yes, by I chance. Mean, but uh, again, by chance. <laughs> Well, not all, not necessarily by chance, but but yes. I mean, um, I'm involved in obviously my my profession, my, yes. my my work that that takes most of my time. Um, after that stops the extracurricular, the extracurricular right? starts, which is I'm president of FHRD, obviously, which is the, the home for the HR profession in Malta. Basically, I am president of a football club of Melita Football Club, um, where we play in the in the. First division or the Challenge League, what is called the Challenge League. We have a nursery of around 350 okay. children, which is which is like running a, practically a, a whole school, a whole a whole, yeah. a whole school. And we obviously have the senior squad as well. So that is a whole kind of running another company on its own kind of thing with the budgets we have and all that. I am also um, I sit on the executive board of the Malta Football Association as well, okay. so so that takes some time as well. I am in other committees, football committees, and, and other voluntary organisations. So I do keep myself busy. Uh, I thank my wife and my children for for, for, for the patience they they, they 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 show. But but yes, I like to keep myself active as much as possible. And. I don't like to focus on one thing only. So, so from HR, I, I, I like to focus on football. I don't want to, after a full day of HR, go back to doing something which is HR related. Yeah. I think you need to change and that's and, and get new experiences, new 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 focuses in life, maybe. And, and I, I believe in that as well. How does that support your your well-being? In what sense? How does it support? How having a variety of things to do and shifting from one. From one focus to another, help you on your day to day. It keeps you mentally mentally alert. I mean, yeah, I'm not joking, but I'm 54. It's not. It's not. Yeah. So so it's good to, to you keep mentally alert. It helps me as well satisfy one of my needs, which is to give back to society as well, because all the extracurricular are all voluntary, are all are all are all vocational as well. So so that um, obviously. I could be earning money rather than doing that after work instead. Yeah. But instead, I, I I prefer doing I prefer doing this. If you so, I think mentally it supports me. It supports me quite a lot. And doing something that uh, is voluntary, I think it, it fulfills you. It fulfills you in a different kind of way rather than work. Absolutely. So I can resonate on that because I'm part of Scouts as well. Okay. So uh, I, I was a Cub Scout once. Oh, right, okay. A very long time ago. For sure. <laughs> a very long time ago. And I didn't really like it that much. I don't know why. I don't know. I didn't get into it, unfortunately. Uh, all my friends remained, did you hear? Yeah, yeah, but right. but I, as I told you, I was football, football, football. It is football. Just give me a ball wherever and, yeah. and, and, and that's, what, that's what I like to do. In fact, we have many members um, who are at the crossroads. They need to exactly. choose either scouts or football. Exactly. Because football is quite intensive, especially a someone that's quite a lot. pushed forward. So a lot, a lot, you need a lot. to focus on it as well. A lot. And don't get me wrong. I think scouts is, is a very good, is, is a very good um, character building as well for, for 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 everyone. So, yes. Well, I think you can get a lot out of from from sports as well. So yes. whatever you do, and as long as you're engaged in something and you're passionate about it. Exactly. I think that that's passion is everything after all. That's all it matters. It can be anything as long as you're passionate about Very it. True. And you're not destroying yourself in the process. It's true. Because it might happen and it will happen if you're super passionate. If you're so I was gonna tell you that. Sometimes people go to extreme, huh? If you yeah. so so even you see sometimes joggers and these people they, they go into a regime of training, 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 which will be in, in the long run harming them more than actually doing them good. So I think moderation is always is yeah. always uh, Aspect. Last time I had a conversation with the difference between passion and obsession. Okay, uh, exactly. There is a very fine line. Very fine, them, yeah. very and fine. it's very hard to to to, to manage and to keep track of as well. True. Very true. 